Hey everybody, it's Lo, and welcome back to my channel, Law Without Limits. In this video, I'm going to take you through my day to show you how I have the best periods ever. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Now I know you're probably thinking, did this girl just say how to have the best periods ever? And yes, that is what I said because it's true, it's possible. I've learned in the last like year and a half that they don't have to be horrible. You can actually have a good one, not to where it's enjoyable, like it's still not a fun time. They don't have to be horrible. You don't have to have horrible cramps. You don't have to have PMS. I actually don't remember the last time I had PMS now that I really think about it. Like you can actually have a good cycle and you probably clicked on this because you're thinking, I have really bad periods. Mine are so bad. I have horrible cramps. I have horrible PMS. All these different symptoms, so many different symptoms that so many of us have to deal with and have dealt with for so long and take as normal when, fun fact, it's not normal. Like they should still be fine. You should still be able to do day-to-day -day normal life. I used to deal with such horrible ones and so they put me on the pill because I would literally get so sick the day before my periods would start and they were irregular. So that's the only way that I would know that it was even coming is like I would throw up the day before. I'd be in volleyball practice and we'd have to run to the restroom. There are so many different issues that we deal with and there are actually like natural ways to take care of it. So a lot of what I do is based and rooted in traditional Chinese medicine. And all of this is not super expensive, pretty easy to do. It's all natural like I used to have to pop like my prescription strength ibuprofen every single day of my period like multiple times a day just to get through it and they would be so bad so I just want to share with you a few tips that I've picked up so that way you can also incorporate what you can into your routine to make yours better and this isn't a quick fix it's not going to instantly magically change within the first month but just by incorporating a bit more of this you can have better periods and it is possible to do so so I'm going to take you through my day word on the street is that mine's going to start tomorrow and by the street I mean my tracker app and usually like my second day is like my heaviest day my most crampy day but even then I'm like oh I can like tolerate it now and I can still do things and I can still like focus because I'm not just curled up in fetal position on my couch so number one thing that I've been using for about a year and a half is Elix Cycle Balance. I have an entire review video that I'll have linked down below that I did after a few months of taking it. And the reason it was after a few months is because since it is an herbal supplement that is tailored to you and your needs, it does take some time to begin working. All of this your body has to adjust to, like an adaptogen, you have to adapt to it. So it's not just gonna work overnight after the first month of doing it. You take it these seven days leading up to your period of like when it should be coming twice a day in some water or in some tea it tastes actually good for it being like an herbal supplement i actually enjoy it so again i have a full video on that where it really breaks it down in the ingredients in it but i've been doing this for like a year and a half now and never going back and as you do it and as you your symptoms change or as you feel better you can actually go in and update your formula by taking the quiz and just re-adding in any new information or if you switch birth control methods or anything like that you can always go back and update that on your account so this will always be tailored to you and your needs in the current time frame and I shared in that video I'll share it again here because we all love saving money but you can use the code low 15 at checkout to save 15% off of your first month but it is like one of the best things and I also think if you do like three months at a time with your subscription you save a little bit of money another thing from Elix that they released relatively recently in comparison to this is our daily harmony supplement so this you can take at any time it's really just to help calm you and ease you it's designed for like this is before your period and then on your period to make it a little bit easier but again you can really take this at any time that you need to a lot of adaptogens helps you reduce stress just improve your mood so if you are on your period you're stressed out you're not feeling your best you can take this in either tea or water to support you or you can just take it whenever you feel like it whenever you're stressed out and just need a little bit of herbal support and something else that i really love and the last thing that i'll show you before we get on with the day and everything else that i'm doing is this cramp release from the brand wish garden i'm almost out i got this bottle at air one but i think you can also get it on amazon i'll put some links down below where you can pick this up this i absolutely love the taste at first takes some getting used to it's not the best these are great this a little bit of getting used to but it's really good if you do have cramps like the, once you feel them coming you're like mm, 
the cramps are hidden a little bit, especially since again, this takes you a few months to get used to. So maybe that first month you're like, oh, still do feel a little crampy. Taking this instead of that prescription strength ibuprofen, that's not good for your liver and your body overall. Instead, putting it in some water, disguising the taste with some tea is a really good natural supplement to get rid of any cramps that you may have. This also says to use two full droppers in your water when doing it, but then that means that it's only 10 servings and it wasn't the cheapest. Maybe it's cheaper than what I paid for it, but I saw it at Air One, so everything's just like more expensive there. But still, not the cheapest for how small the bottle is, so I usually do like half a dropper to one dropper at the start, and then later on, like an hour or so later, if I'm still a little crampy, then I'll do more, but trying to like ration out. That way you're not just chugging all your money in one period, you know? But these three supplements, especially the Elix Cycle Balance that is tailored to you and your needs are step and tip number one when it comes to having the best periods of your life. All right, are we ready for number two? We have to go downstairs for it. Tip number two is on top of having those herbal formulas, I also make myself some herbal tea. So I can make just a hot tea when I need to, but something that I've been loving doing is making a batch of some cold brew tea. So this I made last night and it's been over 12 hours since I put it just in front of the window. So obviously overnight it's not getting any sun, but once the sun came up in the morning, it just got some sun to help it steep a little bit faster from that heat. So it's looking good now. You can really just do overnight, like right before you go to bed to when you wake up, whether that's like eight hours, 10 hours. The longer you steep it, the more it will pull out, especially from some of the harder things in here, like the rose hip. But now that it is all done, I'm going to strain it and enjoy some. Let me break down what I put in here. So two of the main ingredients that I always use is rose hips. It has a sweet and a tart flavor, antioxidant support, joint health, vitamin C, really good for muscle muscles and like if you have any muscle cramping or any muscle tension it just helps relax and ease your muscles and just like helps your body relax a little bit it has a little bit of tartness because of that vitamin c in it i also be sure to always add some hibiscus which is that nice tart flavor so like a, just any hibiscus tea antioxidant liver help and with weight loss i just i love it it gives it that really really good flavor so it's basically like a hibiscus tea with even more benefits and no caffeine and it gives it that of course hibiscus tea color other things that i added in there oat straw i just love oat straw it's super sweet it has so many nutrients it's a nutritive it is restorative antidepressant and just a good tonic so always including oat straw instead i also added a bit of raspberry leaf which has also a little bit of a sweet flavor it is nourishing nutritive uterine tonic so strengthening and it is an antioxidant and of course cramp reducer I also added ladies mantles on a previous video that I did for the best herbs for your hormones I mentioned motherwort and ladies mantle and these are both really good for your periods But they do opposite things. So what you need depends on which one you really go for So motherwort is like helps stimulate your period So if it's always late or nothing's ever really happening But you know like it needs to then you can have motherwort to like really bring it on and like encourage it to start a little bit sooner But if you already have like heavy periods or a lot of cramping then motherwort isn't really the best one for you on the other side of that and motherwort still is really good though it's like really calming so if you don't need it for period help maybe like in the middle of your cycle but having it like around your period can stimulate it to come earlier but every other time it's just really good to help calm your nervous system relax you a bit on the other side of that is ladies mantle which is what i included in here so this one is a uterine tonic anti-inflammatory it also helps with digestion and stomach aches and this one because it's a tonic and it's going to help you with circulation a lot as well so it's going to like grab like just help get everything out so if you do have a lot of cramping because and that's because your body is trying to like cramp like that muscle of your uterus is cramping to get everything out so it's really just going to help ease the cramping because your body doesn't need to cramp as hard to get everything out. Everything will just happen naturally so your body doesn't have to force it as much. So that's why I like ladies mantle and I add it in here. And I also added in a little bit of nettle leaf, not necessarily for period support, but because it's just really good anti-inflammatory, really good to help ease any 
allergy symptoms. It's also nutritive and diuretic, and it also helps with your gut as well. So then I also added in a little bit of marshmallow leaf just because I do like the sweet flavor. It kind of sweetens it up a bit, but this one is also lubricating and just helps you have like, again, really good digestion, really good like movements throughout and it makes you like not super dry especially since a lot of these do have astringent properties that is kind of drying so having that just brings a little bit of moisture back into your body so it's just like this nice really good balance that also tastes really good and then all i do after it's done steeping is i come over to this nifty little big pyrex and i just strain everything out and then everything that i strain out dries out a little bit i just dump it in my compost bucket I just strain everything out and I use these like medium size containers and they are 800 milliliters a little over three cups if you fill it like to the top line and when making this for this size of container I just whatever ingredients I include whether it just be a few things or a ton of things like how this one I added in quite a few different ingredients then I just fill up I take like a little half cup measuring cup and I fill it with whatever I want in this case I did like the bottom like maybe a third of it with or even a quarter a quarter to a third with the hibiscus and some rose hips and then everything else I just added in all of those like leafy herbs so just fill up a half cup measuring cup and then put that in here and then fill the rest with water and it can be room temp water it really doesn't matter if you want to use hot water like the hotter it is which is also why i leave it in the sun it helps speed up the steeping process versus leaving it in a refrigerator so then I just push out the rest of the herbs make sure it gets all that extra liquid out give the glass jar rinse that way no extra little floaty things in there and then I just put it back in that same jar you can really drink it since it's not caffeinated you can drink it in the morning in the evening like whenever you want and it's just so good like I'll drink it especially at the start of my period especially on like those first few days when like my cramping it would be the worst so having this to just support me is really good I if I drink it fast like within two days I just leave it out on the counter because I personally love warm drinks instead of cold refrigerated drinks but if you're gonna have it for like more than a few days you're gonna slowly sip on it and then just put it in the refrigerator so it lasts longer and because this also tastes so good it's really good if you do want to use that like cramp relief stuff or even just if you want to put in the other elix um support stuff then you can just put those drops in here and it will all taste super good and be extra supportive going to enjoy some right now another thing to do if you want to make it last longer or if like the flavor is too intense or you just want to like sip on it is you can do like half a cup of the tea and then half with just water that way it can last you longer and you don't have to make this as often i usually make at least one batch every period and then maybe two if i really want to mm, so good so this is tip number two making your own herbal teas that work for you all right now tip number three is acupuncture so i booked an appointment with my acupuncturist this evening i'm about to go do that trying to do it like a little bit before or like the first day of my period just so she i don't know what magic she does it'll come and then my cramps will be like non-existent and i also i think she's like a main reason for that I call her a magician her name is Michelle the first time she did it for my period was about like five months ago and I went in just for like some shoulder issue and like my like tailbone had still been hurting and I told her I was like yeah I'm like a little bit of like lower back aches and she was like is that normal and I was like no and she's like are you on your period and I was like yes I actually started it today so then that's when she worked her magic the rest of that period was so amazing so I was like I'm coming back at least once a month for that and then I'll come back like a second time a month like in between just for like general muscle feeling good nice joints some cupping maybe also super affordable like the first time I went around like looking for acupuncture like I got a bunch of quotes and everybody was like over 100 and then I found this place $50 a session 60 if you do cupping so very excited so worth it I'm done I'm back and I always leave there looking like a raccoon when I have mascara on because I'm like face down in one of those like massage things usually i like knock out and i have like very vivid 
dreams like lucid dreams and i'm like half there it's like a weird situation but this time i didn't because i had some in my shoulder for like this little like hinchy feeling that i've been getting and i was just like feeling that relax but because it was like started off so tense i like wasn't able to just like relax at the start and like pass out like i usually do but towards the end once like that had relaxed and i was like starting to zone out and she was like okay we're done and i was like i just want to be here forever for period cramps she'll do it like a little bit above like and in from my hips like she'll find my hip bones and like go in towards my spine and like put somewhere on there and then a little bit higher and one of them like i literally like she puts it in and like deep in my body there i like feel it like every single time i'm like i don't know what this is but it's like i feel my period being like oh yeah here we come it's gonna be chill it's weird it's a weird feeling tip number three acupuncture can't say more good things about it at the end of a long day and to also just relax my body especially if it might be day one day two i'm feeling a little bit crampy i love to take a warm bath you can add epsom salts which also just give you some magnesium through your skin and help you relax you can use a bath bomb some bath bombs i love actually have a little bit of cbd so it really allows your body to relax and just really helps your skin as well but today i'm just going to go in with a lush one that i got for christmas little butter bear so it has some nice lavender scent again helping you relax because you just need to be relaxed top to bottom inside and out and it also has a little bit of stuff just to you know give me some nice smooth skin and just the warm water itself will really really help relax you so that is what i'm going to do to end off the night just have a nice little bath and then wash it all off and get all cozy in my pjs i'm out i feel fresh refreshed just feels so good and that bath bomb just did wonders for my skin and my body just feels so relaxed so if you deal with cramps or just overall soreness especially like lower back soreness definitely recommend adding just a nice warm bath into your pre-period or early period routine in order to make it so good and last but not least tip number five is to get some chill movement in so i'm going to do some yoga right now you can do like really yin chill slow yoga leaning into the stretches and really really feeling good i'm gonna do a little bit more intense just to also make it more of a workout but just in general working out and moving your body just to help you feel better but at the same time like you don't need to overwork yourself you don't need to go crazy or go to the gym just doing some movement, a walk, some chill yoga, or even, you know, a little bit tougher yoga. Just something to move your body without overly fatiguing yourself since you might be having low energy and just not feeling 100%, but at the same time, moving will help you feel better. So finding that really good balance. So for me, it's yoga time. It is on the slower side and on the less intense side of what I usually do, which is going to the gym, lifting weights. So definitely less intense than that but at the same time it's just going to feel really good a lot of my muscles sometimes feel sore not even just like my lower back or cramps or anything just like i don't know i always feel like a little just like stiff and tight when i'm on my period so it's really good to just relax and move your body so that is what i shall do such a good yoga session this one was really focused on the hips which really felt good because i've just been sitting at my desk doing work so it felt really good to relax stretch move just a good 40 minutes of movement and i actually just feel so much better all around so there you have it those are my tips on how to have the best period ever they are pretty easy and attainable for most as well so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below which tip is your favorite and what your tips are and what else you want to see here on my channel and while you're there be sure to subscribe i upload a new video every wednesday so until the next one thanks for watching